In the vast expanses of our world, hidden beneath the surface of our everyday lives, lie realms shrouded in mystery, steeped in legend, waiting to be explored. This is the heart of our journey, the essence of mystical realms uncovered. I am Karam, your guide through these enigmatic territories, your companion in the quest for the unknown. Today, we embark on a journey to the highlands of Scotland, to the murky waters of a lake that has captured the imagination of millions worldwide. A lake that is home to a mystery as old as the hills that surround it. This is Loch Ness, a body of water stretching 23 miles, shrouded in the mists of legend and folklore. At the heart of its allure is a creature, a behemoth lurking beneath its waters, a mythical beast that has intrigued scientists, historians and adventurers alike. The Loch Ness Monster, affectionately known as Nessie, a creature of myth, a surviving dinosaur, or simply a case of mistaken identity. The theories are as deep and as wide as the lock itself. Our voyage will take us into the heart of this mystery. We will delve into the legend that has shaped this place, speak to historians who have dedicated their lives to understanding its origins, and meet the eyewitnesses who swear they've seen the elusive creature. We will join the scientists in their relentless search for evidence, and hear from marine biologists about what could possibly live in the depths of Loch Ness. We will explore the theories, the explanations, and the culture revolving around Nessie, a creature that has not only inhabited the waters of Loch Ness, but also the hearts of those who live around it and those who visit it from far and wide. So, strap on your explorer's hat, grab your magnifying glass, and keep an open mind. The mystical realm of Loch Ness awaits us. In the heart of the Scottish Highlands lies a lake shrouded in mystery, Loch Ness. Spanning 23 miles in length and nearly 2 miles in width, Loch Ness is Britain's largest body of freshwater by volume, but it's not its size that has drawn the world's attention. Rather, it's the tale of a creature lurking in its depths, a creature known as the Loch Ness Monster, or affectionately Nessie. The story of Nessie has its roots in ancient times. The earliest written record of a monster in Loch Ness dates back to the 7th century. In the life of St. Columba, an Irish monk who brought Christianity to Scotland, an account tells of him saving a man from a water beast in the River Ness. Could this have been the first sighting of Nessie? We may never know. The modern fascination with Nessie began in earnest in the 20th century. In 1933, a couple driving along the newly constructed road by the lake reported seeing an enormous creature rolling and plunging on the surface. The news of this sighting spread like wildfire, sparking a media frenzy. In the following years, numerous sightings were reported, each adding fuel to the growing legend. Some described a creature with a long, serpentine neck. Others reported a humped figure gliding through the water, while still others claimed to have seen a beast with massive flippers. The descriptions varied, but all agreed on one thing. There was something extraordinary in Loch Ness. The fascination with this creature wasn't limited to the public. Scientists too were drawn to the mystery. Expeditions were organized, sonar equipment was deployed, and even submarines were sent to explore the depths of the loch. Yet, despite all the efforts, concrete evidence of Nessie's existence remained elusive. However, the lack of definitive proof did not dampen the enthusiasm. On the contrary, it only added to the allure. Theories abounded. Was Nessie a surviving member of the plesiosaurs, a group of prehistoric sea creatures that were thought to have gone extinct 65 million years ago? Or was she a giant sturgeon or catfish known to grow to impressive sizes? The speculation was endless. The legend of Loch Ness extends beyond the alleged monster. The lake itself is steeped in history and folklore. For centuries, it has been a place of intrigue and wonderment. Its dark, peat-stained waters, its rugged surrounding landscape and its atmospheric conditions have all contributed to its mysterious allure. The loch has also been the backdrop for many myths and legends, including tales of Kelpies, water spirits known in Scottish folklore for their shape-shifting abilities. Over the years, the legend of Loch Ness has become deeply ingrained in popular culture. It's been the subject of numerous books, films and documentaries. It's inspired countless expeditions, sparked scientific debates and fueled the imaginations of people all over the world. The allure of the unknown, the thrill of the chase, the desire to believe in something bigger and more extraordinary than ourselves, these are the things that keep the legend of Loch Ness alive. 
With such a captivating legend, it's no wonder that Loch Ness has stirred up a storm of interest. Angus McGregor, a local historian, walks us through the historic significance of Loch Ness. According to Angus, Loch Ness is more than a lake. It's a symbol of Scotland's rich history, folklore, and is surrounded by ancient castles and ruins. The most renowned tale tied to Loch Ness is that of Nessie, the legendary Loch Ness monster. When asked about the effect of this legend on the locals, Angus explains that Nessie is deeply woven into their culture and identity, attracting worldwide tourists boosting the local economy with themed merchandise and boat tours. He also clarifies that while there is no proof of Nessie's existence, it's the, the mystery that keeps the legend alive. He further illustrates that numerous scientific expeditions have deepened our understanding of the loch's rich biodiversity and, and distinct geological features, even though solid evidence of Nessie has been found. Angus concludes with the belief that as long as there are unsolved mysteries, the legend of Nessie will remain part of the narrative and will continue to intrigue the world. But what fuels this legend are the countless eyewitness accounts. These accounts, as varied as they are, have added more layers to the mystery, keeping the legend alive. One of the earliest recorded sightings comes from St. Columba in the 6th century. It's said that he encountered a wild beast in the river Ness, banishing it with a simple command. The tale, although ancient, set the stage for the countless sightings to follow. Fast forward to the 20th century, the era that truly ignited the Loch Ness monster mania. In 1933, a couple, Mr. and Mrs. Spicer, reported an extraordinary encounter. They claimed to have seen a large creature crossing the road in front of their car near the loch. They described it as having a long neck, which moved in a peculiar fashion, just like an elephant using its trunk. Their account sparked a media frenzy, and the world's fascination with Nessie was born. In 1934, a photograph known as the Surgeon's Photograph was published. Captured by London gynaecologist Robert Kenneth Wilson, the image allegedly showed the head and neck of the monster. Although later proven to be a hoax, this photograph kept the legend burning bright for decades. But it's not just historical accounts that grab our attention. Modern day sightings have continued to intrigue and bewilder. In 2013, a satellite image on Apple Maps showed a shadowy figure, estimated to be 30 meters long, lurking in the waters of Loch Ness. Although skeptics argued it could be a boat wake or a floating log, the image reignited the debate about Nessie's existence. In 2017, a local tour guide named Ricky Phillips claimed to have seen a strange creature moving rapidly through the water, creating a wake. He described it as a four foot high and 10 foot long dark shape, which he initially mistook for a seal. But as he watched, he realized it was far too large and moved in a way unlike any known animal. Just a year later, in 2018, an Irishman named Ian O'Faudagain captured a video of a mysterious object moving through the water while watching a live Loch Ness webcam. The footage, which lasted for 10 minutes, was later examined and declared as official by the official Loch Ness Monster Sightings Register. As recent as 2021, a hospital clerk named Ross McCauley claimed to have spotted a 15-foot creature swimming in the loch. He described it as something he had never seen before, with skin like a seal's but much larger. These accounts, as varied as they are, keep the mystery of Loch Ness alive. They invite us to question, to wonder, and to dream about what might be lurking in the depths of this ancient loch. Whether these accounts are genuine sightings, misinterpretations of mundane objects, or just tall tales spun for fun, they all contribute to the enduring allure of the Loch Ness monster. These stories, from St. Columba in the 6th century to Ross Macaulay in the 21st, give us a glimpse into the timeless fascination humans have with the unknown. They remind us that there are still mysteries in this world that are yet to be uncovered, and perhaps the Loch Ness Monster is one of them. But as we delve deeper into this mystery and our quest for answers, one thing remains certain. The legend of the Loch Ness Monster, fueled by these eyewitness accounts, continues to captivate us, inviting us to explore the unexplored and question the unquestioned. These accounts, as varied as they are, keep the mystery of Loch Ness alive. But what does science have to say about all this? Over the years, the mystery of Loch Ness has attracted more than just curious onlookers and fervent believers. 
It has also drawn the attention of the scientific community, leading to numerous expeditions and studies conducted in and around the loch. The first significant scientific expedition to Loch Ness was in the early 1930s, shortly after the surge in Nessie sightings. A group of British scientists equipped with state-of-the-art sonar technology ventured into the depths of the loch. They were hoping to catch a glimpse of the elusive creature or at least detect its presence. But to their disappointment, the expedition ended with no conclusive evidence of Nessie's existence. Despite this setback, the allure of the Loch Ness monster was far from diminished. In the mid-1960s, another expedition known as the Loch Ness Phenomena Investigation Bureau was launched. This time, the team included both scientists and volunteers, who tirelessly monitored the loch for signs of the creature. While they captured some intriguing sonar readings and underwater photographs, none provided concrete evidence of Nessie. Fast forward to the turn of the 21st century, and the scientific search for Nessie took a new turn with the advent of environmental DNA, or eDNA. This technology allows scientists to detect the presence of an organism by analysing the DNA left behind in the environment. A team of researchers from New Zealand conducted a comprehensive eDNA survey of Loch Ness in 2018. They found a surprising amount of eel DNA, leading to speculation that the Loch Ness monster could be a giant eel. However, the team was quick to point out that their findings didn't confirm Nessie's identity, but rather added another layer to the ongoing mystery. And then there's Operation Ground Truth, an expedition led by a renowned sonar expert in 2016. Using advanced sonar imaging, the team discovered a fascinating underwater trench in Loch Ness, which they aptly named Nessie's Lair. But like previous expeditions, Operation Ground Truth failed to provide any definitive proof of the monster's existence. The scientific search for Nessie continues even today. In 2024, a group of scientists from the University of Oxford set out on an ambitious project. Using cutting-edge technologies like artificial intelligence and drone-based sonar, they hope to shed new light on the Loch Ness mystery. The results of this expedition are eagerly awaited by both the scientific community and Nessie enthusiasts alike. The scientific quest to unravel the Loch Ness mystery is a testament to our insatiable curiosity and relentless pursuit of knowledge. It's about more than just finding a mythical monster. It's about exploring the unknown, challenging our perceptions, and expanding the boundaries of our understanding. Each expedition, each study, brings us one step closer to the truth, whatever that may be. Despite all the advanced technology and scientific rigor, the Loch Ness Monster remains elusive. Every expedition, every study, seems to raise more questions than it answers, adding to the intrigue and allure of the Loch Ness legend. Despite all these efforts, the mystery remains unsolved. To understand more about this, we have a marine biologist with us. Dr. Marina Blue, an esteemed marine biologist with over two decades of experience, has spent a significant portion of her career studying the ecological aspects of deep, freshwater bodies like Loch Ness. She begins by painting a picture of the loch's environment. Loch Ness, as we know, is a vast body of water. It's one of the deepest and largest volume lakes in the UK. This massive, murky water body has been a subject of fascination for centuries, primarily due to its elusive inhabitant, Nessie. But what does the loch's ecology tell us about the possibility of such a creature? Dr. Blue delves into the depths of the loch's ecosystem. Loch Ness houses a variety of life forms, from microscopic organisms to larger creatures like fish and birds. Its murky depths, created by a high peat content, create a unique environment that could potentially support a large unknown creature. But there are factors to consider. She highlights the food chain. Any large creature would need a substantial amount of food. The fish population of Loch Ness, while not meager, may not be sufficient to support a massive, unknown entity. It's a delicate balance. An apex predator of substantial size could significantly disrupt this balance. She then turns to the loch's isolation. Loch Ness is essentially landlocked. For a creature like Nessie to exist, it would mean it's either been trapped there for an extended period, or it has a way of moving to and from the sea undetected. Both scenarios pose their own sets of questions and challenges. Dr. Blue also addresses the mystery surrounding the loch's depth. Loch Ness is incredibly deep, 
reaching depths of up to 740 feet. Its dark, peat-filled waters make exploration challenging. If there were a creature of substantial size living there, it's possible it could remain undetected in these hard-to-reach depths. She concludes with a note on scientific evidence. To date, there's no concrete scientific evidence of a large, unknown creature in Loch Ness. Many explorations and studies have been conducted, but none have provided indisputable proof. That said, the Loch's ecology doesn't entirely rule out the possibility. It's a conundrum that continues to provoke thought and debate. In the end, Dr. Blue leaves us with a thought-provoking perspective. The beauty of science and nature lies in their mystery. Loch Ness is a testament to that, its depths, its ecosystem, its legends. They all come together to create a compelling narrative. While we may not have definitive answers, the conversations and explorations they inspire are invaluable. After all, wouldn't it be less intriguing if we knew everything? With that, we're left to ponder the mysteries that lie beneath the dark, peat-filled waters of this fascinating lake and the potential existence of its most famous yet elusive resident. There have been countless theories trying to explain the Loch Ness phenomenon. We will delve into some of the most popular and plausible theories that have been put forward. Theories that have ignited imaginations and sparked debates for decades. First, we have the theory of misidentification. This theory proposes that what people believe to be the Loch Ness Monster could actually be everyday objects or animals, misinterpreted due to factors such as poor visibility, floating debris, or even the waves caused by boat traffic, a large bird, a swimming deer, a tree branch. These mundane explanations might seem disappointing, but they may also be the most rational. Then there's the geological explanation. Loch Ness is a deep, dark lake with a rich ecosystem and unique geological features. Some believe that gas bubbles from the lake bed or seismic activity might create disturbances on the water surface, which could be misconstrued as the monster's movements. Next on the list is the theory of exotic species. Some have proposed that Nessie might be an example of an unknown or rare species that has managed to survive in the loch's depths. The most popular of these theories is that Nessie is a plesiosaur, a type of long-necked marine reptile that lived during the age of the dinosaurs. However, the fact that plesiosaurs were believed to be warm-blooded and the loch's frigid temperatures make this theory a bit of a stretch. Another theory is the idea of hoax or folklore perpetuation. In this view, the Loch Ness Monster is nothing more than a modern myth, kept alive by hoaxers or those who wish to perpetuate the legend for tourism or personal interest. There have been several instances of admitted hoaxes over the years, adding some credence to this theory. Then there's the theory of eels. A recent scientific study suggested that the Loch Ness Monster might actually be a giant eel. DNA samples collected from the loch showed a significant presence of eel DNA. However, whether these eels are of monstrous size remains a question. But what about the theory of optical illusions? Loch Ness is known for its choppy waters, and on a windy day, the waves can create unusual shapes. Combine this with the mind's tendency to see patterns where none exist, a phenomenon known as pareidolia, and you have a recipe for monster sightings. Finally, there is the theory of time windows. This is a more outlandish theory, suggesting that Nessie is a creature from the past or another dimension, appearing and disappearing through windows in time or space. While this theory is exciting and certainly fuels the imagination, it lacks scientific support. While each theory brings its own unique twist to the tale of Nessie, they all share a common thread, the search for an explanation. They reflect our innate desire to make sense of the unknown, to turn mystery into understanding. While these theories are compelling, none have definitively solved the mystery. The enigmatic waters of Loch Ness continue to hold their secrets close, and the legend of Nessie lives on, as intriguing as ever. Nessie, as the monster is affectionately called, has become a cultural icon. This enigmatic creature has not only influenced folklore and urban legends, but has also made a significant splash in popular culture. From movies, books and songs to video games, Nessie has made her presence felt. Indeed, the mystery of Loch Ness has captured the imagination of countless artists and creators, resulting in an array of stories and depictions. Nessie has been portrayed as a gentle giant, a terrifying beast, and everything in between. But the influence of Nessie extends beyond the realm of fiction. The Loch Ness monster has become a symbol of the unexplained, 
a testament to the mysteries that still lie hidden in our world. This has fueled a thriving tourist industry in the Scottish Highlands. Every year, thousands of visitors flock to the shores of Loch Ness, hoping to catch a glimpse of the elusive creature. The local economy has greatly benefited from this influx of tourists. Businesses ranging from souvenir shops selling Nessie plush toys to boat tour operators offering monster hunting expeditions have thrived. Nessie has become a source of pride and identity for the locals, and the legend has played a crucial role in shaping the area's unique cultural landscape. Moreover, Nessie has also influenced the scientific community. The ongoing quest to unravel the mystery of Loch Ness has led to advancements in marine exploration and sonar technology. It's a reminder that sometimes it's the unanswered questions that drive us forward. And finally, let's not forget the role of Nessie in local folklore. The tales of the Loch Ness monster have been passed down from generation to generation, becoming a cherished part of Scottish heritage. These stories told around campfires and family gatherings serve to unite the community and keep the mystery alive. Nessie, legend or not, has certainly made a splash. Whether she exists or not, the impact of this enigmatic creature on our culture, our economy and our collective imagination is undeniable. And as long as there are mysteries to explore, Nessie will continue to hold a special place in our hearts. Loch Ness, a body of water that has captured the world's imagination. We've journeyed through its legends and lore, delved into eyewitness accounts and sought scientific proof in the depths of its murky waters. We've heard from local historians who've devoted their lives to the study of this enigmatic lake and marine biologists who've offered a scientific lens to the mystery. We've explored the various theories and explanations, some grounded in reality, others veering into the fantastical. We've seen how the legend of Nessie has woven itself into the cultural fabric, becoming a symbol of intrigue and wonder for the local community and the world beyond. The legend of Loch Ness, as we've discovered, is more than a tale of a monster lurking beneath the surface. It's a story that has evolved over centuries, fueled by human curiosity and our innate desire to explore the unknown. We've heard accounts from those who swear they've seen the elusive creature, their conviction unshaken, despite the lack of definitive proof. The scientific search, while it has not yet produced incontrovertible evidence, has nonetheless deepened our understanding of this unique aquatic environment. The interviews with a local historian and marine biologist have shed light on the enduring fascination with Loch Ness, highlighting the interplay between hard facts and captivating folklore. The theories and explanations we've discussed range from the plausible to the downright outlandish. Some suggest a prehistoric creature somehow survived in the depths, while others propose misidentifications of common lake inhabitants or even optical illusions. The culture of Nessie, meanwhile, has become a phenomenon in its own right. The creature has inspired countless books, movies and even festivals, cementing its place in popular culture and fueling the ongoing fascination with the mystery. In our exploration of Loch Ness, we've journeyed through the realms of history, science and imagination. Whether you believe in the legend or not, the allure of Loch Ness is undeniable. Thank you for watching this episode of Mystical Realms Uncovered. My name is Karam, and if you have enjoyed this video, please feel free to hit the thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel for more such mystical places. Until next time, be safe and kind to one another.